Now in the last session, we have seen how to send the very first API request. Now before we proceed further, we have different tabs over here uh, along with our request. So as in, if you remember when we are discussing about collections, when we create a new collection, we have a couple of tabs available over here. So same is available with uh, your request as well. That is the individual request. Now, uh, what these things are actually doing at times, what happens is, uh, let's say uh, we have a login API, uh, as in uh, HTTPS uh, example, dot com slash api slash login right and a prerequisite of this api is uh, that the developer wants uh, to accept a username and password so the username and password will be pr uh, provided uh, in the request body something like in a json format so this is your username and uh, along with that uh, some value then uh, the password and then some value right so when you are trying to hit this api you may need to provide this in the json body over here uh, you go to the body tab and select raw from here and select json from here and you need to provide it like this right so this is one way of doing it Maybe at times uh, you need to send it in a form of a uh, header. So you're gonna select the application, the content type is uh, JSON over here. Then you're gonna provide the username and uh, some value, then the password and some value. So this could be provided. At times if it is required uh, in a form of headers, then it will be provided as a header over here right so this uh, all depends on uh, the api documentation what is the requirement of that api right if it is in a form of a header you'll be providing it in a form of headers over here if it is a json body you need to provide it in a form of uh, the raw data over here right or at times it may you may have seen that in some of the applications whenever you're filling some data that gets appended to the url itself right so to the url uh, let's say if i talk about this params tab if i am giving any value over here you can see it is being added uh, to the value uh, to uh, a key over here key is page and the value is two right so these are uh, this is the another way i mean at times the data is provided in a form of uh, a query parameter as well right so like the way we talked about uh, the JSON, uh, this is uh, uh, as per the body tab that we discussed. And then we discussed about headers, right? And there's something called as parameters, which is like the query parameter. So if I talk about, let's say username and password is provided in a form of a query parameter, then the values will gonna show up over here. So whatever value that you're gonna write over here, see that is being appended with our URI, right? So something like this. So these are a couple of ways and this is completely dependent on the API documentation, right? How the way the developer has designed that particular API. Right. Then if I talk about authorization, authorization is again the same uh, if that API requires any authorization, uh, the auth, the bearer token or the auth2, right, we're going to have detailed discussion on it, right. So pre-request and uh, test, it remains same like we have seen in the form of uh, collections. If we have any pre-request script to be executed or if we want to validate, we want to add assertions, uh, then we can write those test over here. So we'll be looking at this part as well.